what's going on guys master luke 48 here and today we are back playing smash road wanted 2 and today we are going to fully upgrade the drag racer well, let's go ahead and take the drag racer out for a test drive before we upgrade it so we can easily compare it to the fully upgraded version all right and the speed oh my we we are we are clocking that was some good speed there let's see another straight away maybe we can get um some police cars to chase us so we get a good reference point okay let's see here Let's see how fast they can catch up to us. Oh, oh gosh. All right, let's see here. I mean, from what I can see, we are actually pulling away from the police officers. Oh my goodness. We are way faster than them. That is actually very good. Now, let's see the turn here. That's a solid turn. Let's see. Let's see a UE, a U-turn. Okay, no skidding. And it's a somewhat wide turn. But, I mean, this car is only really meant to go straight. I'm noticing when we bump into some things, we actually get, like, tossed around and everything. Like, if a truck bumps into us, we lose our traction and everything. Like, right there, we return sideways just by bumping into a police car. So, I don't know if this car can be as stable when we get into contact with things. I don't really know, but I mean, everything else seems fine. The durability, though, is actually terrible. I can see the changes in the smoke from the small taps that people are giving us. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the durability is, um, it's, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a pretty decent car. I'll give it that. All right, we have test driven it now, and my recording for upgrading it kind of didn't work, so I'm sorry about that. But here's the grand reveal. Uh, this is the drag racer, fully upgraded. A lot of stuff that changed is that the tires obviously changed the front nose and everything, uh, changed height and everything. The intake uh, got a bit higher and the wheel wells and of course the bumper and fins and everything all around the car changed and the driver also got a bit of a roll cage around his head as well. So I mean this car does look pretty good. Uh, I actually can't wait to see how, how much faster it got. And I, I mean, let's go. Let's go ahead and take it out for a test drive. All right, here we go. We got a nice open road here, and let's go ahead and hit this straight away. We don't even need to wait for the cop, because they won't catch up to us, and I think we're actually going pretty fast. Oh, okay, we got a cop here anyway, so let's see. Um, oh, we already lost him. I, I think we are definitely going a lot faster. Holy smokes. All right, let's see here. The police cars, yep, they're uh, gone. The handling is actually, I mean, I think we're actually making a bit more wide turns. But maybe just a little bit. I don't know. Of course, there's. I'm. We're still not skidding whenever we want to turn. But do we skid if we bump into something? Let's see if we find a car. Let's see. I mean, okay, we just go under them because this car is so like small. I guess we just go right under them. Okay, we did just bump into a car and it did kind of turn us a little bit. So I guess we still aren't that stable upon contact. Yeah, that police car did just move us a lot. I mean, I think it improved. Definitely, we are we are more stable. One thing I'm really interested in to see is how well the durability improved. I mean, if at, if at all, because it was it was still pretty bad, and I don't know if it would improve that much. Okay, we did just bump into a wall, and that did some significant damage. But I mean, I think the durability improved, like, pretty much just doubled. But it was already terrible to start off with. So. Overall, the durability isn't that is actually very awful, but the improvement is stellar. I don't know if it's worth all the speed if, if the car doesn't have that great durability. Then again, the handling and everything is reasonable, so it's not like I was running into things by accident. I think if you can really control this car, it might actually be worth driving. I will rate the drag racer a 7 out of 10. First of all, speed, obviously very good. It wasn't perfect. The acceleration is a tad bit slow, but I, that it does actually make it easier to control. So it wasn't that much of a point loss. I'm just saying I'm just saying this is not the fastest car, but it still is actually very good. Handling is okay, not the best, but we do actually lose some uh, grip when people bumped in, into us and everything, so that's something to consider. The speed to steering ratio though is kind of bad. Like I said, the speed is great, the handling is kind of mediocre, but together they just don't seem to work. You got to really slow down before you can get a good turn. The durability is okay, I guess. I mean, I gave it points, be uh, a few points because um it, it improved a lot. So I, upgrading it is actually kind of worth it. And I think, like I said, if you can control this car and not bump into things, it is definitely worth the speed. Lastly, the visuals. I think it, it's it's not a, a lot of visual details. The final upgrade stage was not that much of a difference. I don't know, the minimal, the minimalist kind of looks, kind of works, I guess. I kind of I like it. It's nothing crazy. It got an average score for the visuals. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future Smash Road Wanted 2 content. If there are any other cards you'd like to see me fully upgrade, then please leave a suggestion down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.